Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good. Today I'm going to be working on an iPhone 7 that was sent here all the way from Missouri. This iPhone 7 was sent here by my sister. Look at what my sister has done to this phone. We've got like a bend right across the battery side here. It's not too bad. But then across the logic board side, it's like, dear God, man. And the screen is protruding. You know, the, the screen is like bulged out of this thing. This phone looks like she was like standing on a concrete floor with the phone maybe about three or four feet high off the floor and it slipped out of her fingers and landed face first up against the concrete wall. I mean, dude, it's almost like a full grown man like grabbed a hold of it and just like, Arr! she had man hands. So maybe it got thrown out of a car or like drugged down the highway or I know what it is. Maybe it got stepped on by a horse. So I have no idea what we're going to run into inside this phone. I hope that it's repairable for her. I don't think she's got much in the way of data on it because she uses iCloud and like Google Photos. Let's see if we can get this thing fixed today. Let's grab us a screw pad and begin taking some screws out of this thing. Now, one thing I can say, since this came from my beloved sister, this hasn't been through a half a dozen other texts, so there's a chance that this will not be a board repair. Come on, mofo. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and drill our pry tool in here. Now that she's already manhandled this phone. Ooh, baby, mm, nice and crunchy. We like it when they crunch, right? Holy crap. Mm -hmm. All right, so that don't look too bad. It looks just sort of like a, a mutilated screen. Let's go ahead and get the tri-wing screws out of it, shall we? Now that we've got all the screws out of it, Let's take that shield off, take this shield off, and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this gnarly looking screen assembly that looks like King Kong got a hold of it. I'm gonna be very surprised if that home button works. Anybody wanna place any bets as to whether or not the home button's gonna work? I bet the home button don't work. Let's see if this phone will still boot. I'm gonna hook up a screen assembly that I'm fairly well certain that works. Let's connect our DC power supply. And we're going to prompt it to boot. And one, two, three, boot. We are drawing 60 milliamps, 140. Oh, bombed out. 60, zero. Hmm, that's not a good sign, is it? All right, let's hold that power button down a little bit longer. 60 milliamps, 200. Yeah, I just didn't hold it down long enough. Whew. Just wanted to give me a heart attack. All right, so let's let this thing boot up and see what happens. I'm thinking this thing's probably gonna be just uh, maybe get away with a screen replacement. Oh, it got a little brighter. I'm getting, I'm getting more hopeful here. There we go. We are up to a lock screen and we do have working touch. All right, I'm gonna turn the power supply off and let's see if we can maybe check on this home button. You know, I don't wanna pour a whole lot into this if the home button's gonna be hosed. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hook up the home button right there. And I don't really care if I tear the screen assembly home button flex thing there. Uh, so let's hook up her home button. Let's hook up my screen assembly. And now let's prompt this thing to boot. My fingers are kind of too fat to fit down in here. So I'll just sort of, oh, we'll turn the power supply on and let's prompt it to boot. There we go. And now we're going to see if this home button works after this phone starts up. All right, so we are started up and running. Now I'm going to press the home button over here on this here gnarly screen assembly and see if we get a click. Oh, baby, look at that. No passcode on my sister's phone. How about that? No stinking passcode. Are you nuts? I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure that we have Wi-Fi available. And then I'm also going to check and make sure that this phone is showing that we have a modem firmware and all of that goodness. So baseband's working, Wi-Fi is working. Let's just, I'm gonna go ahead and check audio. So we'll open up voice memos. Let's just see if it'll let us record. It does, and we are picking up sound. Ooh, 
baby. So although it looks like this phone has been like thrown into a meat grinder, I think she pretty well lucked out. I mean, this thing seems like it's gonna be okay. So what are we gonna do here? Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. She is going to need a new screen assembly at the very least, but let's also kind of evaluate this housing. You know, the housing's not that not in that bad of shape, but this area here it, where the SIM tray is, you can see where that metal is all, all discolored. And this area over here where the volume up and volume down buttons are, you can see where this is all discolored. When I take and I bend this thing back into shape, this is gonna kind of crinkle up here. All right, so let's see what we can find here. Oh yeah, this one has not paid return shipping bill. Eight bucks, $8 return shipping bill, and this thing has yet to be paid. As it turns out, this phone is blacklisted and iCloud locked. This is a beautiful rose gold phone. This phone is in excellent condition, except for it's a steaming pile of iCloud locked blacklisted crap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna surprise my big sister. I think my big sister deserves a surprise today. Man hands. There we've got a brand spanking new screen assembly for my big sister. Now let's get her a brand spanking new housing, shall we? Dun 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 dun. Yay! Yeah, got me a new fresh meat parts board. Throw that up there. All right, so now we've got us a donor housing. We got us a donor screen. Let's go ahead and remove my sister's logic board. Now we're not going to be using her SIM tray. We're going to swap them out so that the SIM tray matches hers with silver. We're changing the phone to rose gold. All right, there's her board. It does have an ever so slight bend to it. You think this is going to be like a future NAND failure slash audio slash baseband slash Wi-Fi slash failure? All right, so let's put this in the new rose gold housing. I'm glad this housing is actually going to get some use. The phone would never ever be used, and the customer has proved that they would never ever pay for the return shipping bill. You know, as bad as uh, I would like to charge a bench fee sometimes, I see how many people that don't pay the return shipping bill and it's like, nobody would pay a bench fee. I would have to, I would have to collect it in, in advance. I might just do that. All right, so let's get all these crazy looking standoff posts back in here. These are all actually unique. This top right one, that's its own specific size. It's made to kind of sit down in its little plastic thingy. And then, Let's get this one back in. From this point on, I'm gonna act like I know what I'm doing because I lost track of where these screws go a long time ago. So I'm pretty well just like, I'm just randomizing and guessing here. All right, so we'll put that one in there. Just kidding, don't please, for the love of all things holy, don't guess where all the screws go. If I'm guessing, it's a pretty educated guess, okay? So let's put this goofy looking Wi-Fi antenna back in place. There we are. One more screw on that bad boy. I'm not sure how much of this video I'm going to edit and how much I'm going to leave untouched. Because uh, I don't look for this one to get a lot of views. It's, you know, it's just going to be sort of like a housing swap. So I won't spend a whole lot of time on this one. I would like to show my sister what she did to this phone, though. I was actually hoping that it would be a little more spectacular than this so I could really rub it in, but this is not... This is sort of anticlimactic. Wait, did I just use the word climactic while speaking of my sister? Oh, God. All right, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to go take a shower. All right, put that screw in there. This one in there. Let's hook up our antennas. For that, I like to use the microscope arini. Dun, 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 dun. And there you have it. So now we have, uh, let's see, we've swapped the logic board over. We've got this retaining bracket. We've got all the screws back in. Did I tighten this one? All right, so the last thing that we need to do, we need to be worried about the home button. So, so let's take the home button off of her brand spanking new screen assembly. Mm, almost looks like this home button may have been off of here before, right? Now for this, I like to insert my tool right here and twist it. 
and that will disconnect that home button and never ever ever tear. Now I'm going to use a little bit of hot air here because well you know what this is our donor button we don't care if this one gets tore up this button will never ever work again. All right there we go so I normally don't whip them out that fast but this one I don't really care if it's damaged so there we go let's get rid of it. Let's grab my my beloved sister's screen and let's see if we can get this thing out of here without tearing it up shall we? First we remove the tri-wing screws Now on this one, I'm actually being cautious because I don't want to damage the home button. I've verified that this home button still works. Oh Lord, look at this. Oh, is that scary or what? All right, let's properly remove this home button. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Let's see if we can get it to come loose from all this busted up nasty gnarly plastic, you know, since it's irreplaceable and all. So I'm gonna sort of do the same. It's gonna be really hard to do. All right, so I'm going to sort of do the same thing here. And I've only got one hand, so that makes this really tricky. You don't want to get turtle too hot because turtle gets temperamental and it starts whacking out. All right, so now I'm going to warm up the bench. I'm warming up my mat under this IC. Let's see if we can melt some plastic, shall we? <laughs> All right, continue to warm up the mat here. You know, the air here is around 200 degrees C, and this flex cable is really thin, so if I just blast turtle with it straight on, I have had it accidentally float that chip before, and then I wind up having to reball it to fix a stuttering home button, and I don't want to do that today. So, All right, so there we've got my beloved sister's home button out. Starting to get quite a bit of glass everywhere, so that makes me a little bit nervous. All right, so we'll feed this right up here like this. Just under our connector. And plug it in, how about that? All right, let's get us a bracket back on here. These are all gonna be tri-wing screws as well. So there you have it. We have now taken and put my sister's home button in this uh, original OEM screen assembly. I'm not gonna transfer her ear speaker flex, although it's probably okay. I know that the one that is in this phone has not been manhandled. And the only thing it's gonna cause, if you go and look in 3U tools, or you, know, you look at that verification report, the only thing that that's gonna cause is for the serial number to not match, and it'll show that that component has been replaced. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do to this phone is install a brand spanking new adhesive... Shit. Is this for iPhone 10? I think I peeled off the wrong one. Oh. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do to this phone, I'm going to install a brand spanking new adhesive gasket of the utmost highest quality. Here we go. You think it's going to come off there without getting all screwed up? I don't. Huh? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. There we go. Let's disconnect the battery. All right. Let's see if this thing's going to work out, shall we? So let's plug it into a charger. Only the best lightning cable here in the STS shop. Oh, we got an Apple logo. This is a good sign. Come on, mofo. I've only had this phone since last year, right? <laughs> it's a family deal. Come on, give me a break. 
You're not going to boot loop. You're not going to do anything crazy. Oh, I got a charge connect. We are pulling one amp of charging current. Let's push the button. Ooh, we got a working home button, yeah? Crap, I was hoping that I had to blur anything. I had to blur her account. <laughs> so I'm going to check. I'm just going to quickly here check back camera. Come on, front camera. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to do voice memos. What do you think the odds of this not being iOS 13 is? Huh? Let's see if voice memo has working proximity. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Proximity. Yeah, proximity. All right, so we know that's working. And uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead... Let's slide the power off and put this thing right back together, shall we? Because now I know, now we know everything is working. Well, most everything anyways. We have us a brand spanking new adhesive gasket. All right, now the rest of these are our tri-wings, so let's see if we can just... Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Ah, yes. All right, now that we got one of them in there, the rest of them should be fairly well easy. Dang it. There we go. Oh, whoa. Don't do that, brother. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Let's get that out of the way. You've installed my screen and it just cracked. That would have been one of those cases. It was actually my fault. There we go. Go ahead and throw us the rose gold screws in the bottom of it. One. Cool. Don't forget the sim tray, rose gold sim tray. Aha, very nice. All right, let's turn this thing on and let's, let's check it, shall we? I want to check the battery health because, you know, hers has this look of the protruding, like when they get slapped real hard, where the battery actually protrudes, this, you know, it's coming out through the screen assembly. That's what her man hands phone looks like. Now she has a nice, beautiful, straight rose gold. Better not slam it up against the wall this time, Amy. And um, it's going to be good to go. So let's see what the battery health is showing. Let's do settings. Scroll down here to battery. Let's look at battery health. Hmm. Spinning cursor. You know what? Maybe it's just a little bit slow. Let's connect that sucker up to three U-tools. And let's just see what... 3Utool says about this phone, shall we? Successful! Oh, look at that. Scored big time, baby. Major, major score. Charge time, 96 times. Battery life, 100%. Alright guys, so I have managed to do a really straightforward basic repair on my sister's phone. She gets a new housing, she gets pretty much a brand new battery, and a second chance at life, and now hopefully she won't slam it up against the wall. Nobody was ever, ever, ever going to be claiming that other phone. So rather than it rotting on my shelf, now it gets to be used. And you know, these batteries, it's not good for them to just sit there and rot. So good to go. Guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm really sorry it's not a micro soldering video, but um, I'll have more of that really soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. The hands of a man. <laughs>